Okay, come on, don't be lava, don't be lava. It is lava. Luckily, I'm shift-clicking so I can hang over the ledge right there, and I can hopefully just grab the obsidian before it flows into the lava, but let's make sure of that. Come on. Someone posted Big Boy Adventure in there. The thing about that, it's funny enough, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, probably most of you weren't around on my channel at the time, but when I first started my channel out, I think it was last September I had it. No, it was actually last August. So yeah, pretty much a year ago, I started doing something called my uh, Big Boy Adventure in Minecraft, and that was actually a lot of fun to do. Oh, fuck me, that's a little dangerous there. That was actually a lot of fun to do. And uh, I was pretty happy about it and how it went, but I ended up ending it after, I think, a few episodes, but now this is nice. Okay, there it is, four pieces of obsidian, and we are on our merry way. Let's plant, just let no shit happens, let's plant that there. There we go. I remember how difficult Minecraft was, and I used to not know you could shift-click to hang over an edge. I'm talking about over a year ago now. I mean, this was the beginning of junior year, so that would be... Wow, that would actually be close to two years now. When I first started Minecraft about two years ago, I had no clue you could shift-click over edges, because I wasn't like a commentator or anything like that. And uh, it made me a little bit afraid, I guess you could say, because I, I had no clue. And I used to try and build these huge structures and I had to hang over the edge. I tried making a monorail system in the sky, and as funny enough as this sounds, and uh, it just didn't work out. I kept falling off. I got pissed off, and I think I eventually quit. Mostly, actually, because of that, I found the building to be too difficult. And then I later found out you could shift-click and hang over the edge, and I was like, fuck me, I'm a dumbass. I was like, I am such an idiot. And after that, you know, learned my lesson, and everything became a little bit easier. Then I flew into Minecraft filming. And yeah. Someone said in the chat to make an obsidian armor. I did make an obsidian armor mod video, but this is on my PC and I don't have it installed on Mac. And to be honest, I think it'd be a little too cheap to use in the Island Craft series. I kind of want this to be more so vanilla than anything else. And it is vanilla as of now. So, you know, I don't really want to fuck that up. <laughs> At least not yet. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, people are now saying I need five pieces of obsidian and stuff like that, and then more diamond. You're not going to be able to troll me. I read it up on Wiki, uh, Minecraft Wiki, so I'm pretty much set. Holy shit, food. What happened to you guys? You guys were originally at the beginning of the stream warning me about food. Now, I'm not getting any warnings. Someone said I should do uh, brewing and stuff. I do want to start brewing. That's one thing I do want to do. But I don't really know how to do it, so I'd have to learn myself on it. I've just never had a reason to do it, I guess you could say. But let's plant the obsidian in there now so we are good now all we have left is to go hunting for sugarcane in the meantime though I should bring along some food with me you know I'll bring along the bread I have I have six pieces of bread and I should probably set up myself a normal wheat farm because as of now without a wheat farm I'm kind of setting myself up for disaster because I don't really have a permanent source of food I mostly just rely on uh, animals for it and probably not the best thing to do but regardless I do it anyway <laughs> I, you know, you pretty much, you learn as you go along. That's part of the fun of Minecraft. I, I know you sometimes end up doing stupid stuff like I do, but learning about it is fun, and uh, learning from your mistakes is always a good thing. I saw some sugar cane over there, so luckily we can go grab that. Hopefully it's more than just one single deposit of it. I hope, like, you know, it's like maybe two or three pieces. Oh, there's another thing over here, thank God, so... We're moving along pretty well. And this is interesting. This is a whole chain of islands. I had no clue, actually, that this section of the island even existed. So this is... Oh, whoops, he's ran right through that. So this is actually really interesting for me. I'm I'm excited about this, to be honest with you, because this means that a lot of exploring can go on. But I want to head back to my main island eventually, because that's what the series is all about. So once I get the Endermen, I only came here once again because the Endermen are heavy, and I need to kill Endermen if I actually want to... Uh, well, if I actually want to, you know, progress on it, because I need to get my ender pearls and stuff. So I need to be able to kill them. So this is what I've actually come to doing. And yeah, so that's just what I have to do, I guess you could say. Now, let's see. We have more sugarcane over there. That's nice. I honestly think this island, it will pretty much go on forever. I, I guess I'm, I should stop calling it an island by now. I should call it a... Uh, Whatever it's called. Not an island. I should definitely start calling it a mainland, because that's pretty much what it is. It's pretty much the mainland, and I spawned in on an island. Alrighty, so let's grab some more of that sugar cane now. We have eight pieces. I think someone was saying we needed how many for books? We need three. I need, I think, just one book. I need four pieces of paper. It takes three of those, so we need 12 sugar cane. I need four more sugar cane if I want to be able to do this, and uh, then we'll be pretty much good to go, so I'm happy about that. So let's go grab that sugar cane now. Come on, give me that sugar cane ass. All I need is about two more of them fully grown. Just two more fully grown. 
Oh, wow. My endless island apparently ended on this end. Hopefully the other end of the island doesn't end, though. And it seems like if there's a bunch of chain islands like, like that over there, I mean, I could probably just keep chaining islands for pretty much forever at the rate I'm going. I do have uh, six more leather. I'm killing the cows right now, if you're wondering, so I can get leather for my books for in the future. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do, at least. Hopefully we can keep finding a lot of cows, but to be honest, I don't think we're going to need too much. Actually, no, because we're going to build bookcases. We're going to need a lot, a lot of books. So let's go grab all this now. Everything's happy. Couldn't find the last piece of sugarcane, though, so I'm going to have to go in the opposite direction just so I can try and find some of that, and it'll hopefully pay itself off once I get that enchantment table up. Although the downside is I have almost no levels left because I got massively killed by mobs. But I'm sure that will all change. Once I start enchanting my armor, my sword, and stuff, I could pretty much make myself virtually invincible. So I'm happy about that and pretty excited, to be honest. Do, 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 do. Someone said if I'm looking forward to Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is an interesting uh, concept, I guess. I'm not so much looking forward to the game, although it does. It looks okay. I'm just not looking forward to it too much. I'm mostly looking forward to Zombies mode for it. I think that's going to be awesome, and Versus mode is going to be even cooler. I don't know. They didn't talk too much in depth about it, but the Versus mode, as far as I can tell, it'll be hard to fuck up, and I think it's going to be a fun time to play, so yeah. That's at least what I uh, what I personally think. I don't know. I, I probably have a lot of people disagree with me, but regardless, I am excited for it in that aspect. I think zombies mode is going to be fun. Regular mode is going to be fun for like maybe a month or two, and then I think it's going to get as boring as all hell. I guess you could say as boring as every Call of Duty gets. No spiders, no. You're not fucking with me. Oh my god, so many spiders. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, we need string for that bow anyway. I'm not even sure if I have my uh, three string yet for it. And Creeper, you can go die in a ditch. Here we go. Come on, blow yourself up. There we go. And we have all the sugar cane in the world. Look at that, 14 pieces. We overdid ourselves there by two. We can finally get that enchantment table online. The one thing I don't know if people could comment in the uh, stream, can you double enchant something? Like, say I enchant it and I don't like what it gave me. Can I go back and enchant it again? Or what's done is done? Because if that's the case, then I'm not going to go around and mess around and keep double en you know, enchanting with only one level. I'm only going to enchant you know, extra. And people are saying, nope, you can't double enchant. That's what I thought it was. So I guess I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to be very careful with it. I think that was Obsidian down there in that little cavern too. Fuck, you know what my problem is? I get in fights with Endermen when there's a bunch of mobs around. Maybe I should just lay off the end. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna lay off the Endermans until I can actually upgrade my materials and do good against them. Cause this is just ridiculous. Every time I go to kill an Enderman, I get fucking gang raped. So let's let's avoid that. Oh nope. Nope. Dot AVI. Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Get away. Is that? Oh, I thought that was a pack of creepers. It was a pack of. Uh, I mean, a pack of Endermen. Apparently, it was a pack of spiders and Endermen. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. No. No. We're not ending this way. No. We need a happy ending for my viewers. Happy. Oh, wait, that actually was a pack of creeper uh, endermen. Two of them, but there's way too many mobs around. Not worth it. So once I level up, I'll be fine. I wish there was a way to make it so only one mob could attack you at a single given time. Like some kind of like amulet or something. That's what, Actually, wait a minute. Why the fuck don't they have enchanted amulets in this game? Amulets could be a lot of fun to use. Alrighty, though. So we are in business now. Let's go and build ourselves what we need. Oh, I'm really happy about this. Finally, we have what I've been looking for this whole entire time. And that is... You ready for it? A book. And if you're wondering why we need the book, we need the book because now we can go... Where is it? Diamonds and... Obsidian. Finally. Here we go. I think, I think, I think. How do I... How in the world do I set this up? I think it was like that, diamond, and book. Thank Jesus. There it is, everyone. The enchantment table. Oh, my God. I'm actually really proud of that. That is one sexy enchantment table. Well, anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far this Island Craft series and this little uh, get-together I've been doing. I've been having a lot of fun with it, and it was especially fun to live stream it. Thank you guys who came out on the live stream. Thank you to everyone who watched on YouTube. Thank you to everyone in general. It's been a lot of fun. And for people in the live stream, stay tuned. I am not going to be ending the stream. I'm simply going to be switching over to Bloons Tower Defense, getting other people online to play with me, and it's not going to end here. So if you're not interested in Island Craft anymore... You know, whatever. Just stay tuned. We're going to be doing bloons, play with other people, Battlefield 3. Really, I'll leave it up to you guys to vote for. But as for everyone else, have yourself a good night, and I can't wait to post this online.